I spoke to a sister not long ago, and she said she has no problem submitting to a man as long as he submits to his God. And, you know, my, my, my sentiment towards that was, you know, this still is a woman who doesn't want to submit because she has to still see something outside of that man that can put him into uh, subjugation. So she never really still wants to see that man on his throne or sitting on his throne or or in his full glory, because you have some 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 systems, uh, whether we want to call them mathematical or spiritual, where there are men who say they are God, you know, and that's right. That's where the where the pyramid ends. So then what do you do in that situation? Now, this man is going to call for total uh, cooperation and um, support you know, underneath his mission and his plan. And there really is nowhere to wiggle out from with that. You know, so what are your feelings in terms of, you know, uh, yeah, <laughs> right. You know, so it, just in terms of um, women who desire to always know that there's someone to hold you in check to, you know, what, what are your thoughts on that? And sometimes it's an elder, by the way, it may not even be your God, but I find that it's easier to make it God because that's more uh, subjective and mutable and open to interpretation. Right. And, and, you know, the fact that the creator is not going to pop up out of the sky and say, boo, this is what I want you to do. Like, you know, right. try to scare you into submission. See, and, that, and mm -hmm. that's what, that's, that's the, that's their escape clause because they're trying to manipulate you into going for the okie doke. Okay. Then you mm -hmm. get hit with the low uppercut. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's one, right. you know during a time where you need her to get on board because you see something down the line because men are visionary this is just how we're wired we're, we're visionary we know we're calculating and we're putting things together that if I do A, B, C all the way through Z is going to occur and mm -hmm. we want to take direct action we want everybody on the same page so when, when they're saying that oh I'll submit to a man who submits to his deity or to the creator well what they're actually saying is, until they disagree with what you say the Creator is telling you, at that point they've right. got to do what you say because that's not what they think the Creator told you. Right. And mm -hmm. I, you know, I've had the experience that uh, when I was, you know, when I was still steeped in what I call pseudo monogamy, and I define okay. that in the next line of my book. You know, pseudo monogamy mm -hmm. is when. You, a man thinks he's monogamous or when women think that some men are biologically monogamous or when a man is faking monogamy that's pseudo monogamy mm -hmm. I think brother who we should be clear too for the listeners that we agree with monogamy when it's real monogamy okay when that man does not need nor want another woman at that time but men being men a what are what is what is called a concubine or a paramour or a, an additional consort mm -hmm. and at that point you know we we're going to go and do what we do but as far as religion is concerned that that's why we have to have everybody on the same page because we do not need discord because in a religious family everything everything uh is uh Every facet of our economy is uh, more at stake economically because there's more people. And with right. each wife and child that you add to the family, it's exponential. It's not additional. So if you have three children mm -hmm. and one wife and it's five of you, if you add just one wife with no children, that's actually like adding five people. Because right. people's, the nature of a person is dynamic, it's not static. 